If you would like to access talkability for the visually impaired please visit our Facebook page. Stephanie Thomas, Elling City Bisa Fashion, Sa America Bakeng Sabato, Basa Itikanela, Uite, Repe la le fatting leo, di pofolo te ruang la pig, dinan lidia paro, sa fashion, te etedi tu emili watona, hofe tabatu basa itikanela. Kahona, kaje ku reshebile ho haella, ha accessibility, Africa bora, ha hutua, ho fashion, le muralo. Retlagua ka accessibility, ma benkeling. Ha maho le bo emedi mi futeng ya fashion le mi futa ya diapa rena le fashionista e tshetsang le rona ka jeno ho arolelana me hopolo ya hae re o amwela ho talkability sera ka le boga thank you for having me today e re tabile a holo rutlile me a ko rojetse mon ha o no santsa no hola o no le thompo nyana and then ke engela o tsang gore jwa le o fetu we we go gore di fashion di healing thonyana tseo e se le ntho e batlang I think when growing up, you start uh, having that sense of belonging and you pick up Ori, Obatloba Mang. So that's when I discovered more about myself. Back then, I was still dealing with a lot of things and being tomboyish was like my kind of escape goat, yeah. Hmm. And then when I how to the brands, it's a Durang Haulu Akalo. Empa, we created a style of how to do the brands. When you look at the brands, you create a style more than Ori, you can use the brands of the Durang. Like, uh, I believe for looking good, it's not about money. You can have like uh, a few rents, but you can still look good. It's not about brand. You just need to identify your style and just look good in what you wear. You can be wrapped in a sack, but you still look the part. Like it's how you wear it, not like what it's all about or who made it and stuff. So fashion should be for everyone. When you are like physically challenged, people expect you to wear like your socks and slippers <coughs> and all that. So with me, it's different because like if I was to walk and what I am now, it will be more or less the same thing. So I'm still walking my heels either way. But what I'm going to say is <laughs> that I'm ba to say in terms of inclusivity to make sure the part of the easily or without or an analogy when it comes to that part there's still a long way to go because they are not accommodating half of the time you need to buy clothes and then you need to go and alter them so i feel hurry if they were to have a designer in their fashion world whereby a person with disability will actually give me the uh, give them the uh, inside look into what we need they'll actually have a more clearer picture and based on the experience how on anaore bohloko ba inclusivity when it comes to fashion lady design ke ke eng e kana kana if we no no ka gona o advise e batho ba yetsang diphahlo it depends like from disability disability it differs but like uh, some of the clothes will need buttons instead of zips because if you're sitting like on a wheelchair and the clothes has a zip at the back, like because of that, your back is always against the hard uh, cover of the wheelchair. Like the moving up and down, it hurts you. So it will be buttons and all those things. They will substitute certain I, uh, certain things. Dipato, tselo ring dinalebo di poko toto na kamrao. Eba dipato tselo ring lito na di affect a body pressure so zintonya na tezwalo. Yeah, like I've never experienced it, but I think it would because I guess first of all, you've got a cushion that relieves you from having treasure sores. So if there's going to be a pocket that is like hard and just constantly there, you don't actually need it. So someone on a wheelchair will go and get them removed because you're never going to see them unless your wheelchair had a see-through behind or a see-through <laughs> bottom. <laughs> then you'll need those pockets. <laughs> so like some of the things are not necessary and it will be like uh, cost effective for the people that are even designing them because they will reduce certain things and add others so it will work both ways if they were to look into it. Kele jo ti tsore ka jo ko lena e hile ke na le fashionista e kotsi a hole. E bile la mutla lona re a o sona wa di tseba taba tsa hae. Pele re bua ha holonyana ka fashion le morwalo. Ha re shebeng sara a le hae hore yena o phela jwa. Le bitsela ka ke sarang kgweng and I'm on a wheelchair since 2003. The reason for Rikibemo wheelchair was due to the removal of a spinal tumor 
and then the side effects that they need is on a certain causes and correctable go wheelchair because I had uh, a lot of surgeries and also kibilele radiation therapy so it's a weekend at the muscles and that's how I became to be on a wheelchair when it comes to finding the apparo when I go shopping for clothes because most of the clothes it's one thing to add 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 alterate add modify or do like the mule can because how she ever the mannequin you see a mannequin standing but the length yeah how do you tell our Amy it's not the same so I constantly have horiki adjusted yeah paroza kaki di seko tailing and uh, I feel for the fashion world is not accommodating but for people with disability. I started understanding fashion haki kalau seveta and uh, that's when kikalau choose my clothes and then that's when I just fell in love with fashion and so that there is a need for people with disabilities or they need to dress up because they just dress anyhow and the society have uh, this thing ya khore how look will change you must always be wearing socks or a parakubo and so forth so my main reason was to break that stigma and to actually show people how like you know what you can be who you are in regardless of whether you are standing walking or uduti goes to long my message for people fellow people that are living with disabilities like me today is from today on wake up dress up show up and dress up as if the world is your runway mona ho inset ya o bona hala o lori bongata ba di phatlo tsa o na le mo di santeng hore ba di lukise ka pa ba di notle hore di gone hore di ule kane ka tsela o ba tlang ka yona and na bo pilong ba ka ke thola hore situation se jalo se nketse tsa mathata holo bana kana ko nwe di phatlo bo tsona di atura hape jwa le ke lo patala motha di etsa ngwana o e bona ile joantho yo yana it is like a uh, extra cost but at the end of the day like a uh... I've just like uh, made it a point to fit it into my budget to say hurry if I'm going to look good if I'm going to be comfortable after buying something I will have to like uh, cover those extra costs up until we can get to a point or a century whereby we are accommodated but for now like I've got this lady that does the alterations you say on the inset as well hurry eh mo thutlamela phile ka re le fatsi ke runway ya high and it sounds like motho ya bo pelo ba ha bo le rong o phela ka yona eo e e tsho hore ngwe wena ntho and e bo hloka ha ka ka ntho eo ah what it means ke gore if you gonna go out into the world like every morning when you leave your house you need to show up or stay home like how old so you must be proud of yourself you must feel gore you know what the world is watching or whoever is gonna be watching or whoever you gonna meet with they need to know you it must be your signature na e tlile taba ya di alterations ya o notla bo di phatlo e ya nsukudisa ha holo bo ngata bana ko bane tse ding tsa ding thotse lo reng ke di rata le tse lo reng ke di hloka form se bitsi wa ka di kiri long sleeve so tla mile na ko le na ko ne ne ke di tsama e sedilo yetsuwa e mpaka na ko ngufumane na ko ha e yo na ke ya parallel jwalo ke tla be se ke mina mina mo e ba bo hlasonya e ha re khutla re tla tsola pele ka fashion moralo ha pe le sara ya mahlahahla ka jenolena re sheba hore na fashion le morwalo di ghetholla batho ba sa itikanelang joang le hore na ho hloka la hore ho fetwe eng jwalo re ikopanye le nkele funjwa e leng o mongwa metswalle e meholo ya sera ra o amwela o tokability nkele ya bonga o go tsengi be khona la go tokability as umgane ka sera a go ngjele ke wena no sera ni hlangane njani futhi ni hlangane ni yo Eh sine minyaka ngimaso sara sehlangane esontweni and we clicked sahlangana futhi like we had a lot in common ukuthi si si kwazi ukuthi sibe la sikhona namhlanje mina naye so because besino khamba ngese indaweni like phinde sehlangana kule indawo lezo besides esontweni so and that's how we clicked so and that's how we yeah and jomo uti you had a lot in common yi ni le ngaka bo ithanda ngaye you can see by just looking at her her smile firstly she's a one person umuntu abantu 
friendly and very bubbly and open-minded. And oh, she doesn't let anything pull her down or anything or anybody define who she is. She doesn't go with, according to the public, what is in fashion or what, but she creates her own style. And Sarah, when I link it, Kiing ha kana kana olorin wena e yetsang o appreciate ke le ha holo as mogotsi wa. Uh when I met Ngele like uh, she's different to me like she's got that bold strong bossy personality and then on the other side like uh, she's just the opposite of who I am and then like when we together it's like with this power team she just saw me for who I am and not what the world sees you as when they first look at you, they see a wheelchair. But she's so deeper into who I was. And then, you know, to have a stall or your tenga no 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 sir. Man, humble in your tenga impasa or whatever type of shopping in your humble. You think in Sangana Nazo man say doll. It yeah, depends on what you shop in Jani, but sometimes he gains a good thing. I've been thinking, but sometimes, yeah, maybe to go say a band the not assistable, but. Sometimes I see I was with the seasons I lay in the lay too, but even if it's a taller lane king, we always find a way, we find our way to get help. In king is common in his taller as on a yini. Sometimes, well, depending on the staff, sometimes you find the staff is unfriendly, or sometimes it might be in king or was he, you don't find the. Then though if now you sometimes in a shop, a shop, a specific shop. And the more to long treatment the loring staff setting has so sorry hand click up has more accommodative. Wahutle la shopo niyo bu pilomba olo reka hapi kapa wai we write her off. As uh, with me, like I'm a straight talker, I sort it out right then then, or otherwise it will escalate to higher levels if there's still a problem, because that's where you set the record straight. Because if you leave and never go back, they're still gonna treat the next uh, physically challenged person the way they treated you. So you need to sort it out mm -hmm. and like let them know that whatever they are doing is wrong or correct them. When it comes to issues as a when I jump on the react to Kanjan, now we will be nomlilo to the high school. Like, I don't know if I like Ashilo, I mean, I see we do have different personalities, but we do say, like, I'm a personality with a young man. I mean, uh, yeah, sometimes I react, but sometimes I was with me on the on the campsite. I was in the conflict or anything, so I was with me balance. That is how we manage to balance each other. Well, we are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. But we are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. Haru utoro vili, one are inyena kataba ili. My name is Willi van Zijl. Ek het ongeluk gehad op die grens, by die arons verloor. Dit was een vraats ongeluk met die buffel. Kleren en hemde, broeken en die winkels wat die mens moet aankoop. Daar moet altijd een verstelling gedoen word. Bijvoorbeeld, ek moet ritsleiter sê, ek moet die hakkie aanset by die landbroek. Dan aan die ander kant het ek oorgegaan na golf t-shirts en t-shirts toe. Maar ook weer eens moet ek groter size kry. Want dit moet aanpas by die arms. Want hulle is keer makkelijk met die staal en die aan en uittrek van die goed. As jy ingaan by die winkel waar jy moet leren koop, mense wat jou veronderstel is om te help soos allerdaags enige ander persoon dit moet doen. Dit is of hulle terugstaan, hulle is bang, hulle weet nie om gestremde mense te help nie. Dit is as daar iets is wat hulle nie weet hoe om te doen nie. Met ander woorde, jy moet maar ingaan, jy eie ding doen, jou kleren koop, jou skoene, wat ook al gaan doen op die huis, pas het aan, as het nie reg is nie, dan ruil hier het weer om. Vir ons gestremde mense, denk ek, daar moet een aanpassing gedoen word, as jy iets gaan koop of aankoop by jou plek, want ons sikkel om dit reg te kry, dit so nice is as hulle kan adapt, om het vir ons leven ook gemakkeliker te maak. How she bata baya vili and re she bata bata loring rebuile katso na mona kajuko. Who are born sorry for disability? Disability the challenges that shopping had it one. And impa and who are into an eloring who are excuse re kaba kala or disability had it one are kono re accommodate. Do you feel when a hore hona lento te general? Te loring tona pa kono ba diete for man kapama. 
Yeah, I think like uh, if uh, experts were to sit together and then by including maybe two or three people with disabilities, I'm sure we could come to common ground for what are the basics. It's like when it comes to baby clothes, at first you just used to have normal baby clothes whereby it's for like uh, uh, zero to three months, but then they went into having newborns and then tiny babies. So I'm sure like with us as well, they can get to a point whereby they can they can accommodate and know or what is like uh, general or what is common in most disabilities and then try to like accommodate all that. Di pasho ekhi le tsona di bhlokwa ha holo ba ne di fa motho identity and di yetsa gore o bane le confidence la o tsama strateng o bane ha o apere ka tsela e o ithabetseng wa ikutlwa gore o motho ene wa ikutlwa gore ha o na nthelo reng e ka o thibella pele jwale go tlamile retse sho gore accessibility le inclusivity e ba teng ha o tla ditabentsena tsa di fashion ka mora gefu re tla ba le Isabel Lota Mona Studio ke monga brand e bitswang Sis Isabel di aparotsa hai di entse ka ho latela melao e hudimo ya boitshwaro me di tshetsa kholo industry ya tlhaiso ya Africa borwa re bua ka ghetollo ya tsa fashion le moralo e tobaneng le batho ba sa itikanelang jwa le re ikopanya le Isabel e o eleng karolo ya mogatlo wa lefatsi wa petuo ho tsa fashion Batisa petuo malebana le disebediswa mohlala le petuo ya minahano. Welcome to the show Isabel. Yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> uh, fashion statement making a fashion statement is a way of expression for many people. Is that why it is such an important thing to actually have it being inclusive? Yeah, I think it's not as much about fashion but about the first impression you get about someone, the way they look, the way they dress, the way they present themselves. So it is a very important thing for for anyone in any position. It also plays a, a very important uh, role when it comes to self-esteem. Why isn't it uh, inclusive yet, especially at this time of our life? It is it is a very difficult question. I mean, there is such a huge market for it. I th just think the big companies haven't seen the value in it yet. But it is slowly changing. Big international companies are sort of cottoning on. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger has re recently launched a brand called Tommy Adaptive. So it is starting to get there, but I do think big retailers just haven't seen the value in it. And what do you find uh, from your experience are the problems that, uh, or, or barriers that inhibit it, the inclusivity of fashion? I think a big part of that is research. Like, we don't know. I mean, for me, I design what I know, what my body type wants, what my friends want, what my clients want. And I mean, I've probably had contact with three or four, maybe five people with disabilities or who are differently abled. So just that that knowledge that what they want, what they require from clothing, it's it's severely lacking in, in the fashion industry. And Sarah, what do you think uh, as persons with disabilities, what do you think we should do to be able to speed up the processes or to make sure that there's more inclusivity faster from our side if we had to do it ourselves? It's just for us to get more platform and more exposure and uh, to be to know who to go to like when it comes to big shop because right now you can't just walk into any shop and say that here I am I want you guys to like uh, use me as an example or to do mannequins and all that so the minute it's included in the fashion industry then they can start including everything and everyone and like have access to the people that are already living with disabilities to know what needs to be done. I think that's what needs to happen. Um, I know Parsons Design School in, in America is doing that at the moment where they work with, a, they have the client who's a disabled person, they have an engineer and a fashion designer. And they all work together and they do either like a, a small wardrobe for the person or just a piece. And I think that is great. And the amount of learning that gets done from that and is then shared is very necessary in the industry. Then they will be getting the education and they will get the knowledge to understand about 
uh, fashion and accessibility to different people, to able people and disabled people. So in that way, it will be able to give everyone the chance and that opportunity to be exposed into the fashion <coughs> industry as well, to know about different types of fashions. And what made you to start having ideas like this, to start thinking in this way and applying your, your, your brand in, 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 this, in this manner as well? Um, I mean, I've always designed for what I want, what I need from clothing. And then through that, I've, I've met clients who've also been not the perfect cookie cutter mold, who can't find something in the big retailers, who come to me for something special, something different. And I sell a lot from my studio, so I try and interact with my clients as much as possible. And slowly my pool has grown, and I've had, I've had interaction with people who are, who are not exactly like me or exactly like the, the media says we should look like. And I'm, I'm always willing to learn and willing to experiment and willing to make stupid mistakes and just to make everybody feel comfortable in their own body, in their own clothing. I mean, we have so many bigger other issues to deal with. Getting dressed in the morning shouldn't have to be one of them. Yeah. No, <laughs> no we're very happy that you are still willing to make the mistakes. <laughs> Maybe you'll give Sarah that dress she's been looking for. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for you, Sarah, and, and Kelly as well, I'll start with Sarah though. Um, what do you think is the most important thing that people can take away from today's chat? Uh, I think like, especially the retail, the designers, like the shops, the designers and the society, they just need to like uh, think about this and actually look at giving us exposure and actually look into including us into this fashion line. Even if you can have an aisle in the shop whereby you know that when you go to that aisle, you'll find this kind of clothes. It will actually help a lot. And for them to just be more accommodating and be considerate so that there's a sense of belonging when you go shopping. You don't have to struggle or go back home without getting something. People, they should be more accommodating with different personalities and different needs. And those needs, they also still need to be attended to when we go shopping or at the mall or at the shopping center or a certain shop, that there is a place where one will be able to find everything easily accessible for everybody and be able to move around very easily. Slowly the fashion industry is changing. Um, people are starting to celebrate their differences, starting to, to see that everybody doesn't look the same, everybody doesn't need to look the same. But I do think uh, social media platforms are having a much bigger impact on having more representative fashion, having more inclusive fashion. So I don't think there is a big movement towards it yet, but I do see it coming. Well, ladies, uh, thank you for coming to the show. Uh, we appreciate your presence here. Well, what I see when I'm sitting here, it's a gold mine. It's an opportunity that a lot of people don't see. And I'm just thinking what I'm going to do when I live here in terms of getting myself investors. Because what I found out also is that fashion is not just about clothes. It's just about belonging. It's about uh, expressing yourself. It's about finding your own self-worth and also giving yourself some self-esteem to be able to challenge everyday challenges and be happy with yourself. Kinako yahore, fashion is a thing. Ebile es nambu ikarabel, ifetu hore. Dintote sa kujwing, miharo, litinyo, ki matata le fatin. Reka eta karlo ya rona, huti sa petu hore. Bua le rona, huli social media pages ta rona. Hore luena, huti se petu hore. Ube le rona hape mona, hu SABC2, you belong, beking eta. Hufikala ribu wana na hape, libito ki reina muloi, and we talk ability.